In this video, I will quickly show you how to download the free compositing software Natron on your Windows computer. Natron is a free alternative to software like Nuke and Adobe uh, After Effects. So what we'll do is we will search Natron, N-A-T-R-O-N, -N, uh, in a search. The website is natron.fr. I'll also include the link in the description of this video. Then just click download and then download for your operating system. I'm using Windows 10 in this uh, video, Windows 10 64-bit. It also works on Mac OS and Linux. Um, so I'll just click Windows for me and I'll click on this Windows installer and then it gets the download prompt. If you're downloading this um, in Microsoft Edge or in Google Chrome, you're, uh, I think on Chrome your downloads appear in the bottom left-hand corner. On Edge I think they're on the bottom as well. But in Firefox it's this little arrow here. We can click and see the download progress. Uh, so I'll pause the video, and as soon as this is done, we will continue. Okay, so once it's complete, uh, completed downloading, you can just click to launch it from here. Or if you're not sure, if you're not sure where it downloaded to, um, by default, it's probably in your downloads folder. Um, and so it's just this one here, uh, Natron. Natron, Natron, I say it both different ways. Um, so we're going to click next. It's, you can change the destination if you want, but I'm going to leave mine by default where to install it on the computer and keep all these settings the same, except the license. It is an open source uh, license. It's free software. Um, it's not like a paid trial or a, a free trial version and you pay for more features. It's just completely free open source software. And it's quite powerful and quite feature rich uh, as you'll see in these tutorials. Okay, so that's complete. Click finish. And now we have a desktop icon here. We can also click on the start button and start typing in N-I-T-R-O-N. And it shows up here as a desktop app as well. So you can launch it from here. You can launch it from the desktop. We'll open it up for the first time and see how it looks. Okay, so we can check for updates. Uh, since we just barely installed, it's probably completely up to date. Um, you can do full screen sometimes if I'm like I, I'll, on Windows, I'll click the top and move it to the top right corner or to the top side, and it'll fill that whole half the screen. And then I can open up something else too, like I can open up a, a browser and drag it completely to the left, and it'll fill that side of the screen. Then I can be watching a, video, a, a tutorial video over here and then still work on my project depending on your screen size, or you can just go full screen. But that's it. This is the interface for Natron. And... Check out the next video where I'll do a demonstration of what all this interface and environment is and show you how to get started using it. Thanks for watching.